Okay, go ahead and call me number. I'll start with Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning. Good morning. Next, I have is approval of today's agenda. We will make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. We move and second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Next is approval of minutes of 8 14 23. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes uh, as provided for August 14, 2023. I will second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Which carries next is approval for claims of payment of 82123. We'll make a motion to approve the August 21st, 23 claims for payment. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is consideration of appoint CICS representative from the Board of Supervisors. Uh, since they mixed that up, apparently we've done it, but we need to do it officially. Yeah. Okay, I will make a motion to appoint. B.J. Hoffman as the CICS representative from the Board of Supervisors. I will second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? This is, go, go ahead and tell the reason why. Well, so the legislature uh, did a little bit of reorganization within the mental health regions to include law enforcement, uh, juvenile services, juvenile court services, uh, county attorneys, uh, for more providers. And so uh, as I had served as the representative the past several years and then the chair for the past two years, uh, once my term expired, uh, the vice chair from Jasper County took over and they, the number of supervisors on the board now is limited to uh, our fiscal agent, which is Story County. It is Franklin County, our employer of record. And then our chair uh, from Jasper County, our vice chair from Hamilton County, and then uh, that that concludes the supervisors votes on the board now. Where and before so, where before it was all supervisors right. from all the counties. So. And the logic is because the state took over paying for mental health services where it's no longer a local levy that the state could now dictate the membership and the comp the composition of each mental health region board. And so they wanted more uh, advocates and more providers and people in the justice system to be involved. So that's the logic. Uh, we're still involved, but we're just not voting members at this point. So this is just a delegating a representative. Okay. Any other discussion? Thank you. Yep. Hearing no more, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is motion to authorize the treasurer to allocate interest to earned on the opioid settlement funds from the general fund to the opioid fund. This is something that was brought up. We have some opioid money that's been coming in. We've been putting the interest into the general fund. It needs to stay with this fund. Okay. So I would make a motion to authorize County Treasurer Michelle Eichmeyer to allocate the interest earned on the opioid settlement funds from the general fund to the opioid fund. I will second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Moving forward, it'll stay with that fund. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next proceeds from County Home Ground Sale. Had this on there. We really never had an open discussion in the public. We sold the ground for after all bills, $1.1, $1.2 million sitting there, sitting in a CD at this time. And what do we want to do with that interest on that money? It's just discussion, no action. I, 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 I'll, I'll throw it out. We could use it for economic development, but we could use it for fairgrounds. We could use it for anything. We could just leave it in the general fund. We could leave it there to keep building that, but that doesn't make sense either. We have that separated out though. It, it was a separate CD with that funding in there. I have it as a separate CD, but the interest is 
reoccurring to the CD. Okay. Okay. Not. So it's rolling oh, okay. over. Okay. That's yeah. what I meant. Okay. How much is the interest so far? I, I wasn't prepared to. So I, I guess I guess what do we want to do with this funding? Um, right now, I can tell you we're making more on interest than we were on renting it. Oh, absolutely. I think I I guess I would like to consider economic development um, as long as it's staying with the with that fund and we can kind of keep track of it. Um, Which. At budget time, we could allocate it at that point. Right. I think that's kind of when we need to, once we work on budget, we can kind of see where where we are funding-wise. Um, and, and consider it then, but I don't know. I like the economic development idea, but due to what, what the legislature's done with budgets and stuff, too, we need to Current, currently, we the economic development fund has lost funds. Ten percent of the rural residents' mm -hmm. lost funds going into it. At the last session, they talked about changing up some of the lost funds. I mean that that could hurt as well. Maybe this offsets it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they turn around. They didn't do anything with it this year, but that doesn't mean they won't next year. Mm -hmm. um, no, I just wanted it out there. Where do you what do you guys think you want to do with the funding source? I know that uh, we've got some upkeep and maintenance projects on the courthouse on the books, the tuck pointing that is going to need to be done. We've got always have upkeep and maintenance on other county facilities, uh, the jail, uh, those facilities. So uh, I would say we collectively gather ideas and see what after the ISAC conference, if we get any other information on what's coming down the line from the state, and then at budget time, take anything and everything into consideration and seeing where that money can be best spent. I agree, I like the idea of economic de development, uh, maybe looking at uh, housing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so definitely take the input from Deb and, and Mark and see where economic development wise it can be best spent with the best return on investment so i just i guess my biggest thing is i just don't want to sense spend the principal off no right i mean we always had the ground it always brought revenue in i think as long as we keep that principal and we just work off the interest on that moving forward we did it we didn't hurt the county at all by selling the ground right. i think now that it's out uh, <clears throat> In the open here, Michelle, can you get us what the interest rate is for next week and just sure because yeah. I think I wasn't just, no, I know, and I don't, and that's why it's you know, I just know that uh, interest rates on <laughs> CDs, even six and nine month, they're five, five point one five, five point zero nine, and and those are local rates, so uh, it is a good return and working off the balance uh, or the principal makes a whole lot of sense and letting that sit there for a rainy day because you're right it, it does pay better than the rent but paying yep. the cd was gathered before interest rates right went up, yeah so. so and if it if there's a potential for you know withdrawing and and getting a better rate we can talk about that later but i'll let that's in your purview so or we have to wait till the cd matures matures yeah and reinvest. yeah I just don't want to see it go in the general fund and then it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was my main okay. reason. Anything else? No. I appreciate you bringing that up. Thank you, Michelle. Yep, you're welcome. Change of statuses. I didn't have any other businesses. Um, we don't have a supervisor's meeting on Labor Day. That's a Monday. Just reminding everybody. Do you guys have any other business? No, sir. I have nothing. Public comment. Has anybody signed up for public comment? Pauline did. I do have one thing for other business. Um, a lot of us are attending ISAC this week. And so, and I'll send out an email if anybody can have any agenda items to me by Thursday night. So then I can get that all posted on the website and everything. And everybody upstairs can get the actual physical postings. 
than Friday for people who are COVID. Okay. Pauline, come on up. I probably can say it for, from here. Oh, come on up anyway, though. Not um, really. <laughs> I don't need you. I was just thinking for oh, the... Okay. <laughs> that's that's part of public comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just wondering for the um, the interest money, can we put some of that maybe toward like roads for our bridges and to keep up like our you know country roads and and that that was part of the yes it could be used for that 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 was part of the discussion what could we do with it for anything um, roads. Roads have a budget that's got 100% to maximum minimize 75%. They also have a loss fund that is at 40% for the roads. But this dollar amount's really not going to get them. I don't even think it's enough to buy them a trip a pickup difference. Yeah. Well, like, what about to do? I know they had talked about like on our road to. Um, when it rains on 290th Street, all the water just washes down and makes a gully on the road. And they had talked about digging that out. That that's maintenance. They they have the equipment for that. Okay. Would any of that money help to go toward some of these things? Because I know there's a lot of other country roads that kind of are like it, this. It's so possible. Okay. I just yeah. I was kind of wondering. I always like to help out their budget <laughs> if I can. No, I, I understand. Our roads are important, our country roads. <laughs> Thank you. John Denver said that. <laughs> is, is there any other public comments? I would have a public comment. Yeah. Um I have sent the tax statements out. Um, they went out on Wednesday, but for some reason, no, they're not in anybody's mailboxes. Um, I've, I've had a few calls that they have received them, so I know that they got mailed out. It's just that. So when you see the stamp that says return to sender, does that mean they don't have to pay? <laughs> And if you don't even get your tax statement, you still have to pay. <laughs> That's in the code. So I just wanted to make everybody aware that they have been mailed out. They are available on the website. You can pay if you don't have your statement and you want to see what the statement looks like. You can get that statement from our treasurer's website. So. And the absolute last day to have it paid by is? September 30th. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's us. All right. No, no, other, no other public comments. I could ask for adjournment. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. Well, yeah. well, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no,